So when it comes to anything Sweet Baby Ink related, the news comes in like wildfire. People are talking online about a whole bunch of stuff related to that company and any other company associated with it. And one of the biggest things that have come out in the last 24 hours is the news that Bandai Namco, which is one of my favorite publishers for video games, they are teaming up with Sweet Baby Ink for a video game. I can't believe it, but it turns out that this is actually true. And we're going to get into this video game and how they're involved. It's going to be fun. So what we have here is here unknown nine awakening there's a description it says you are a haruna a caster born with the ability to venture into a mysterious dimension the fold on her quest for powerful hidden knowledge she must learn to master the powers of the fold to fight a secret society with a hostile agenda i'm going to be honest with you this sounds a lot like forespoken 2 this is by reflector entertainment we're going to be getting into a couple things with them. They are in hiding. I've been noticing a lot about that lately. I'm making a video about it. These people are in constant hiding. They're shutting down their tweets, shutting down their forums. Reflector Entertainment, the moment that people started talking about Sweet Baby Inc., they took action and they have been removing people from both their forums and from their Discord. You have the actress from The Witcher. Her name's Anya Charlotta. If you don't know who she is, she plays Yennefer in The Witcher series with Henry Cavill. As her co-star and they picked her up for this video game and just from looking at these shots i just can't believe how much like forespoken it looks like and i mean square enix was behind that and they couldn't even get that off the ground and because of that that game studio had to shut down and from what i understand sweet baby inc has also been erasing a bunch of information from their website um erasing themselves from history basically trying to obscure themselves like they used to be before gamers started talking about them because I guess they're starting to realize that people will stop buying their games very, very soon if they haven't already. But let's see what, uh, let's see what Sweet Baby Inc. Detected has to say. That's a curator. They say not recommended mentioned on the Shorty Awards official website. So, so how exactly is Sweet Baby Inc. connected? Well, I did a little digging and I've been seeing that people have been talking about this all throughout the night uh, while I was sleeping, basically. And we found out that the co-founder of SBI is the story architect for Reflectors Unknown 9, as per Grums here. Shows here in this photo, objectives, Reflector Entertainment's mission is to create story worlds, transmedia universes built from the ground up, releasing new and exciting narratives along a consistent schedule and across a wide variety of platforms. The first of these story worlds, Unknown 9, launched in early October at the McKittrick Hotel and New York Comic Con. So it says SBI detection confirmed from the 11th annual Shorty Awards, Unknown 9 entered in storytelling. And right there in the photo, which is actually being blocked by Plato, so I'll move it for you guys so you can see. But right there, it says in the bottom right hand corner, if you can see it, David Bedard, who is the co-founder of Sweet Baby Inc. He's involved, the brand content manager at Reflector. That's insane. And you have Kim Belair. Is, is she's involved in it too. So story architect at Sweet Baby Inc. So these people are heavily involved in this game. And it's no wonder that they're panicking right now because people are taking notice of this. Now, just to let you all know, I actually tried to join their Discord here. I launched it up. I was like, okay, I'm going to see what the Discord is all about because I've been hearing that people have been getting kicked from it. Uh, entire channels being wiped, 99% of forums being wiped. I haven't heard much about it, but I've heard a bunch of things about Reflector just banning the crap out of people. So I tried to join them and uh, look what happens. So this says, invites are currently paused for this server. Please try again later. <laughs> What is wrong with these people? Every time people start mentioning Sweet Baby Inc., they start banning people, shutting down their Discord servers so nobody can be invited, shutting down their pages, erasing themselves from history. It, it's insane. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to be seen in the limelight for some reason. I mean, I thought that you guys cared so much about this movement in gaming. Why would you not want to put yourselves out there? I sure wonder why. I decided to go a step further, though, and take a look at their Steam community page to see what the fuss was all about and I, all I see is people talking about SBI and SBI haters from Grey Knight 7 I'm here to get banned by devs for mentioning SBI so Sweet Baby Inc is an incredibly racist company it's unfortunate that I must avoid this title now for ethical reasons and he had a bunch of people respond to him in the comments this one's for SBI haters are obsessed stay mad so people defending the company on this page for a game that hasn't even come out yet so Awakening plus Sweet Baby Inc top five games that died before launch also heart 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 this sweet baby inc as a non-binary poc thanks for partnering with sbi enjoy your future unemployment harmful and problematic 
body positivity stereotypes and yeah everyone is already onto this game like white on rice i actually took a look at the trailer just to see if people were reacting to that and i was not disappointed because as you can see here the ratio for this trailer is very bad this was 12 days ago it only has 51,000 views it's the unknown nine awakening the first preview it's getting ratioed with dislikes and all the people in the comments are saying is sweet baby inc ceo is part of the narrative writing for this game just in case people want to know and it's one of the most liked comments on this video you also have sweet baby in confirmed i'm absolutely looking forward to never playing this game sbi presents forespoken 2 that's exactly what i'm saying though like guys you have to see pictures for this game look like look at this i have it on ig and it's look at some of these gameplay photos if i told you that this was from forespoken would you believe me because i take a look at this and i just see this horrible looking game that, that just like does not mesh well together graphically oh my goodness but this is apparently being worked on by bandai namco i mean i love these guys you know because dark souls okay i'm i'm a souls dude and the last thing i want is any of this weird sweet baby ink inspired nonsense to go anywhere near the souls games okay i'm telling you that will be a field day i do not want that to happen not even for the sake of content i just don't want my series touch i don't want my favorite video games being destroyed like my favorite entertainment's being destroyed lately but if you want the information it is all here i mean people have been talking on twitter about it constantly if you look at some of these posts they talk about the actress and that she looks all weird and manly which is something that sbi has been notorious for lately just making the main character look extremely unattractive for no reason at all. Uh, people even provided an SBI list on IMDB. I mean, people are on this. I mean, they are really on this. And uh, I have to say, it's an impressive thing that SBI continues to hide while all of this is going down. These studios that they're involved with, they're going to be getting the fire from players, okay? They're gonna be getting the business. And the only thing that's going to stop it, I think, is if there is full acknowledgement and separation from companies like Sweet Baby Inc. But Something tells me that they're not going to shake loose without a lot of pushback, and I mean a lot. And who knows how long that's going to take. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't had the chance to share it with your friends and hit that like button, that would be awesome. And hey, if you're feeling ultra spicy, consider subscribing to my channel so that you're always up to date on what kind of thing I've got going on. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Later. Meow, meow.